A very good morning to all of you children. I hope you all are ready for today's SEIT session. Yes, so before we begin the session, I want all of you to sit straight and be ready with the paper and pencil. And wherever you have any kind of problem, please keep on posting in the chat box and I'm going to sort it out. Right, children? So let's begin. So children, today also we will be talking about the different parts of the car. So, but before we start discussing about new parts, I want you all to quickly revise what we did in the last session. So as you can see on the screen, we discussed about the following parts, the car airbags. So the purpose of the airbag is to provide a vehicle occupant with a soft cushioning and restrain during a crash. Then the car dashboard. Car dashboard houses many car equipment such as entertainment system, AC vents, control buttons and speedometer and even multiple uh, knobs that help operate different functionalities of the car are there, right? So then came your uh, car pedals. As you can see on the screen in the picture itself that there are three pedals. I told you that in manual cars we have three pedals that are, they are clutch. If we start from our left side, it is the clutch pedal, brake pedal, and the accelerator pedal. And I also told you that clutch pedal is used for what? It is used when we are changing the gear, or you can say when we are shifting the gear. Then the second one here, as you can see, let me just. Um, yes, so this one is the clutch pedal, and this one is the brake pedal, children, and it is used to de accelerate the car, or you can say to stop the car. Then comes your accelerator pedal, which helps in, which helps the car to move and uh, maintains the speed of the car. Right? Then comes your car gear shift. Yes, children. So car gear shift is this is your car gear shift, and you all must have seen in your cars, right? So car gear shift is also called gear lever or gear stick. Yes, and there are multiple gears in a car. So the lower gears are for starting up the car, whereas the higher gears are for maintaining the speed. Okay, children. Then comes your car speedometer, right? So the job of the car speedometer is to indicate the speed of your car in miles per hour or kilometer per hour or sometimes it tells both ways also, right? I hope you all are able to recall all these things. Okay, let's move on the other slide. And here you can see the front view of the car. Yes, children. So I just want you to quickly label the front lights of the car. You don't have to draw it, just write the names of the two lights which you can see. The front of the car. Quickly, children. And you can share your answers to the chat. I'm going to keep on checking it on and off so that if you have any doubt. Just sort it out. Yes. Yes, some of you have started sharing the answers even. Okay. So the first one is this. So headlight, which is also called headlamp. So both ways it is correct, children. And the next one is your this is your what is this? This is the fog lamp. If you have written fog light, then also it is correct, children. Yes. I hope you all have got the correct answers. Next is that I want now all of you to identify these parts and you need to write their names. Again, children, you don't have to draw them, just write their parts, name. I'm going to give you two, three minutes. So you will just write the names and the ones those who are true, they can share to the chat box with me. Okay. Yes, some of you have started sharing. Very good. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's start discussing now. So the first one here is your steering wheel. Right, children? Then this is your side view mirror. The next one is windshield 
or if you have written brain screen, that is also correct, children. Then comes your number plate, and after that, this is a wiper, and here these are car air bags. Right, children? So today we will be learning about a few more parts of a common, right? And once when we are through with the discussion, I will be showing you some videos also related to them. Okay, children? So I want all of you to sit straight. Yes? Now, so first is car seat belt, children. So a seat belt is also known as a safety belt. It is a vehicle safety device designed to secure the driver or passengers. It applies an opposing force to the driver and the passenger of a vehicle against harmful movement that may result during a collision or a sudden stop. It also prevents them from falling out or making contact with interior of the car, especially preventing contact with or going through the wind shield. Because it happens when there is a sudden break, it happens that our body just falls in front. Yes? So it helps us to stay in our seats itself. Right, children? So the, we are going to go to the next slide and we will be discussing about these switches. So children, you must have seen, I think, these switches when you open the car. You know, they are fitted on the inside part of the door panel. So, so let's see how do they work. So the most basic function of this switch is to control the opening and closing of the power windows. It does this by sending an electric signal to the window motor that in turn moves the window glass. Right children? So the car window switches are used for operating the power windows of a car and they make the window glass go up or down. Yes? And we have a button over here with the help of which we can lock. We, here you can see with, uh, with the help of which we can lock all the uh, doors and windows of the car. This is at the uh, driver's seat only so he can do this. Now, moving on to the other part. Okay, before that, you just see the fun fact that in manual window, Rollers help the door windows go up by moving them clockwise and go down by moving them anti-clockwise. Okay, children? So, in manual windows, like in all the cars, we don't have power windows. Some cars, they have manual windows also. So, in that, we get a roller, right? Manual uh, window roller is there, wherein we need to move it clockwise or anti-clockwise if we want to move the glass or we want the glass to go up or down, right? Now, the next one is car sun roof, right children? So a sun roof is a window in the roof of a vehicle that allows additional light and fresh air to enter the cabin. They come in many sizes and styles and nearly all new versions are motor driven though some old sunroofs are manu manually operated. Many people like them because they give the car more of a party atmosphere. Yes, we all like the sunroofs. Yes, I can see the smile on your faces. We'll, be, uh, we'll see a short video on this also. Okay. Now comes your handbrake lever, children. You must have seen it is placed right in the center of the front two seats, right? So the handbrake is also known as emergency brake. It applies the rear dispatch or brake shoes via a cable and is used when the car is parked to stop it from rolling forwards or backwards. To apply it, the driver needs to hold the hand grip, basically this children, he needs to hold from here and press the button. Can you see the button over here? You put at the end uh, of the grip only and raise the lever, right? So it can aptly be described as the backup braking uh, system that steps in when the primary brakes don't work, right? 
now. So the manual hand car hand brake levers are now fast being replaced by electronically operated brake switch. Nowadays in automatic cars we are getting a brake switch, right children? Now comes your car windshield visor. It is also called sun visor. I hope you all have seen this also. Yes. So now you should know that we call it windshield visor or sun visor. Okay children. So a windshield visor or sun visor is a component of an automobile located on the interior just above the windshield. They are designed with a hinge flap and is used for deflecting direct sunlight from the uh, directly uh, diverse from coming into your into the driver's eye and ensure zero distraction while driving. Right, children? Now there is a fun fact that is visors also come fitted with small mirrors also known as vanity mirrors. Yes, children, you must have seen this. Can you see this? And when you open it like this, you can see a mirror inside, right? Now, moving on to the next very important uh, safety device, which is your door child lock. Okay, so can you see it here? I, if when we open the door of the car, children, you can easily see very small button is there. Okay, so a child lock in a car is this. This tiny toggle switch in the door, which will be visible from the side when the door is open. Okay, so the premise of this lock is to prevent the door from accidentally being opened when the car is in motion. When the child lock is engaged, that door cannot be opened from inside. You cannot open it if the lock is there. If your parents have put the lock, child lock, and you are inside on the back seats, you cannot open it from inside, right? It is for your security, children. So now, till here, if you have any doubt, you can ask children, and then we will be starting up with the videos. So the first video is about your car sunroof. In which you will be able to see uh, the different styles of uh, the sunroofs, right? And how they operate, how do you open, you can see the buttons also inside the car. Now,
yes children so now you must have seen that how it works manually as well as with the help of buttons automatically also yes so now we will see our next video which is a song on seat belt and with the help of the song you will uh, you will come to know that how important it is to wear a seat belt right enjoy the song Driving in the car, put on your seatbelt. When you're going near or far, put on your seatbelt. It'll keep you very safe. Put on your seatbelt, seatbelt, please. Clickety clack. Put on your seatbelt. Clickety clack. In the front and in the back. Put on your seatbelt. When you're going to the shop, put on your seatbelt. Don't take it off until you stop. Put on your seatbelt. It'll keep you very safe. Put on your seatbelt, seatbelt, please. Clickety clack. Put on your seatbelt. Clickety clack. In the front and in the back. Put on your seatbelt. When you're driving to the school, put on your seatbelt. When you're driving to the pool, put on your seatbelt. It'll keep you very safe. Put on your seatbelt, seatbelt, please. Clickety clack. Put on your seatbelt. Clickety clack. In the front and in the back. Put on your seatbelt. When you're driving in the car, put on your seatbelt. When you're going near or far, put on your seatbelt. It'll keep you very safe. Put on your seatbelt, seatbelt, please. Your seatbelt, seatbelt, please. Put on your seatbelt. Put on your seatbelt. Thanks for watching. Click on our logo below to subscribe for more fun kids videos. Thanks again and see you next time. Yes, you all enjoyed the song. It was nice and I hope you all learned that it is very much required to wear the seat belt whether you are sitting in front or at the back, right? So next time, whenever you are going out, so please make sure that you are also wearing the seat belts and your parents are also wearing it. Okay, it's very important for all of you. And now here comes the next video to which you are going to learn how to lock and unlock the child lock. Right, children? This is Anthony from Alton Nissan Richmond Hill. I'm here today to tell you how to engage and disengage the child locks on the rear doors of your vehicle. With the child locks, you can lock the door from the inside, making sure that nothing can open it. While the vehicle is unlocked, however, you can open the doors from the outside. It's actually very easy to find the child lock as well. It's at the end of your door and it looks something like this. Then you just flip the switch to the lock position. From here, you can see that the door will not open from the inside. However, when you open it from the outside, it can open. Now, when it is unlocked, you can actually open it from the inside as seen here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions, please consult your owner's manual and have a good day.
children i hope you learned how to open to lock and unlock the child lock yes children and where it is located okay so now today discussed about all these parts which are there right in our front of you and uh, you have seen the videos also i want all of you to revise these parts at home and uh, uh, watch the song once again it's very nice and uh, for the parents i would like to request you all to please send your suggestions and uh, feedbacks on our email address that is manavbs@yahoo.co.in thank you